one thing I should probably mention is you don't have to use operator. You can use whatever you want because this is just sine waves. Normally when people are making their subs, they'll just have kind of like a basic sine wave, kind of like this. And then from there, they will saturate it as much or as little as they need to get more harmonics. When you're saturating that much, uh, you're introducing weird little artifacts and stuff like that. You can get a cleaner signal if first off you get some of those harmonics just by mixing in them yourself instead of with saturation and distortion. So next on my sub, I've got um, an octave up here. So still just a sine wave. And then it just depends on the song and how you want it to fit in the mix as to what the volume I'll put for the harmonics. And next we have just a fifth up harmonic, which is 19 semitones up, which sounds like that. And then from there, if it's more of a basic like dubstep synth or sub, what I'll do is I will saturate it just a little bit uh, with this rack I made, free download if you're interested. Uh, it works really well on subs. So here is a before. Look how much the fundamental goes up as well. Sometimes when you use saturation, it just kind of gets farty. You know, ruins the fundamental there. Kind of just thickens it up before. And after. You can go a bit further if you want. You can see with this rack I made, you can really push it if you want without losing that fundamental. If you want more of like a distorted 808 kind of thing. So you want lots of distortion on the top, but at the same time, a nice girthy, chunky fundamental. I will do something different. Just a little bit of saturation. And then from there, I like to grab an audio effect rack so I can split the signal. So we're gonna have a chain for the fundamental frequencies-ish, that kind of range, and then one for like the crispy, distorted craziness on top. So then we have to split the signal. So at the end of the distorted one, you gotta make sure that none of those frequencies are overlapping. Let's use something that people don't normally use for subs. Let's use like a guitar amp. And then let's make the high end of sub stereo. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds good. Make sure everything's still separated a little bit. There you go. Then you got a nice unique 808. Cool thing about that is that each of these notes kind of gives off different timbres and stuff. So I would almost consider those three notes different 808s, different sounding 808s entirely. So we should export each one six. So just like that, we made our own cool 808s with lots of distortion on top without it ruining the signal. The cool thing about having a sub with lots of high frequencies like that is either you can use all of it or it has so much harmonic content that you can kind of just at least sculpt the sub to fit your individual song you're working on. You know, I'll just take what I need for it to fit in the mix, right? So maybe in the song, we've got some cool stuff going on at like 600 hertz. So we just dip it down and then maybe we don't have much going on at like 1K. And then we, our leads are kind of like three to four K. So you can make kind of like weird little EQ adjustments like that. Ooh, I like that. We could even just make a little 808 pack right now. Now the reason why I bounce them out sustained like that is because then you have all the sustain you'll ever need whenever you're working on a song. And then in the song, you, I just usually automate the, the volume to fit whatever rhythm it is I'm working on. And then once I have a decent spot, usually I'll just bounce it down. That way I can see it. If you guys want to take your skills to the next level, I highly recommend Defire Society. We have internationally renowned artists like two to three times a week going through the project files and showing us what they do. Quix, Code Pandorum, Dr. Ozzy, G-Rex, Amplifier, Fox Stevenson, Ray Volpe, Odd Prophet, Ace Aura, Skunto, Desoki, just to name a few. We've also got tons of awesome instructors, some giving uh, feedback live streams weekly and some that you can book for personal lessons. Feedback wise, I mean, just even at the time of recording this video, we've got Sam, Odd Prophet, Ace Aura. As far as the courses go, everything from all the technical stuff to, you know, all the business stuff, uh, basically everything you need to know 
and if you actually apply yourself and um, put all of it to the test. You know, some of the students have come out on these labels here. So check out the link below to sign up or check it out.